of course. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video in a new series of re reviews. And we're going to be taking a look at some Power of the Force figures every Friday. Power of the Force Fridays is what's going on here. So I thought I'd kick off with our lead hero, Luke Skywalker from A New Hope. I just really love this line. Um, I know it's it's a nostalgic for, for people my age and, you know, within the sort of age bracket that I am. I'm in my early 30s, so um, for those that grew up in the 90s, this... These figures hold a lot of nostalgia, and I really wanted to sort of express that and sort of share some more of these figures and collectibles uh, throughout my channel. So each week I'm going to be doing a review on something Power of the Force. It might be a figure. Uh, I don't have many vehicles, so it's, it's probably going to be figures for the foreseeable future. But if I get some other different sort of items um, throughout the time, you know, <laughs> we've got a long, long, long list of content to get through. So. I will try and mix it up with characters, but I decided we'll start with Luke Skywalker. Um, I don't have one of his weapons. I, you know, I've I had them as a kid. I lost a lot of my figures to so-called friends that stole them, and you know, you know, as kids' toys do, they sort of just go missing over the years. Um, so I've rebought this one over the over the last few years, and uh, he didn't have his little grappling gun. But what I have here. On the side is Star Wars The Ultimate Action Figure Collection by Stephen J. Sansweet. You all know him. Uh, yeah, so this goes up to around about 2012, 2013. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, once been organized a little bit more, actually going to um, make sure I've got the book bookmarked and uh, ready to check out the figure because there is basically every single figure we can sort of take a look at um, what's going on here so there is a re-release version of him that came with Desert Skiff but if we want to go back here and take a look Grappling Hook Blaster so this is the release we're reviewing is when actor Mark Hamill first saw this buff figure, he chortled and said, that's supposed to be me, I wish. So there is the blaster that I'm missing. Um, but yeah, I do have his lightsaber. I'm pretty sure he came with the lightsaber anyway. <laughs> so I'm not sure why it's missing from that photo. Maybe it didn't. But uh, it's, yeah, it's been a long time. So, you know, lots of looks to get through here. So we'll close up that book. But that is a uh, absolutely amazing guide to, to action figure and collectibles and stuff sort of between the vintage years and you know almost modern sort of 2012 2013 I think that book came out so I thought we'd just sort of take a quick look at the figure this in terms of you know detail that that very sort of he-man buff look I mean look at those abs you know it was all based on sort of market research in the uh, in the 90s when when uh, Kenner or Hasbro were looking to bring these figures back it was still Kenner back then um, looking to bringing Star Wars back market research basically told them that kids want like strong action heroes so that's why they sort of got this look and uh, it wasn't for a couple of years that they started to really sort of dull down on that idea and uh, give them a little bit more of a screen accurate look but uh, as a kid, I didn't really care. I didn't take notice. You know, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't think, oh, you know, he's a big bit muscly. And, you know, it, it, I didn't even consider it when I was a kid. Um, so I'm pretty sure with this one, there was a variant where there was a couple. I think Obi-Wan was one, Darth Vader was one, where they come with, like, super long lightsabers in the packaging. Uh, there are a few. But, yeah, it's a, not a bad sculpt for, for the 90s. It looks all right. Put a pretty plain silver paint, but that's fine. But yeah, in terms of the paint, you know, it's you know five points of articulation, arms, legs, head. That's it. Oh, and yeah, waist. So six points of articulation. So in some ways, they're actually better than some of those figures that sort of come out over the last sort of five to ten years. 
Here, yeah, Kenner, China, 1995 LFL. Yeah, it doesn't really look like Luke much, does it? <laughs> Let me just spin the camera back. Yeah, nice and close. Big blue eyes. Looks like Mark Hamill that got eaten by Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. But you know, these these were cool when I was a kid, man, and I like I I had a good selection of characters when I was a kid. My first ever ones were Chewie and um Vader. I still have my R two D two from when I was a kid, as well as a few others. But yeah, I thought why not start off with good old Luke Skywalker farm boy outfit. Meant to come with a grappling gun, like I just showed, but uh that's cool. I like him on the shelf with the uh, rest of the Power of the Force crew from A New Hope. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below as always. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if there's any specific Power of the Force 2 character you'd like to see next. I'll absolutely be open to requests. That might that way I, it's one less thing I have to think about during the week when before Friday comes. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And also consider joining as a member. I have four members at the moment and they're a big help to the channel. I really, really appreciate their support. And uh, hit the little notification bell so you get all my videos straight to your inbox and make sure you don't miss them. So it's always a helpful little tool here on YouTube. So thank you all very, very much for watching. I'm looking forward to just putting out some short little videos every Friday. And I'll just talk a little bit about each each figure as opposed to, um, you know, going through an in-depth sort of review. But we'll take a look in the book, take a look at the figure and just have a little chat. So that should be quite fun. We'll just get a get a bit of a look at each figure. So until my next one, may the force be with you always.